My name is Adil Yomoniye. I'm a content creator. I'm a movie director. And I'm a YouTuber. I want you to all go to GBA TV. Subscribe. And click on the notification bell. So that anytime new content is placed, you will see it. You will not be disappointed if you do that. Tell your friends to do the same. Thank you. Young man, why are you praying that God should kill your wife? <sighs> I won't take this 
from you. Who is this the amount of men that drop me and you call yourself a pastor? Pastor! Pastor, pastor Caleb, what should be ashamed of you right now? I won't take this for me to cook for you and your kid. And you are telling me to use this. Is this what your mates are dropping? I'm going to check my best. What are you trying? Ah. What are you telling me? You can't tell me that. I will show you the stuff I've made up. Can you be patient you for what? Patient for what? Patient for what? Imagine. Imagine. I even not ashamed of yourself. What is that? You are pointing as a I will. I even beat you. Yes. I will show you. Have you forgotten I'm a pastor? I don't care. Pass that to your pocket. What do you expect the church members? I don't care. You are embarrassing yourself. God is even embarrassed. Ay. God is ashamed of you. Look at this. You can see what is coming out from you. Useless man. Mouth. Useless man. Idiot. Is this what your mates are giving out? Oh. What should be coming? You better put your hands in your pocket and bring out good money for the family. For that reason. Go ahead. Nothing I'm bringing out. Are... Is that all? Hey, Mr. Man, come back here. Where do you think ah. you are going to? Tell me. Mom, Shadi, you started the game. What? Ah. Where are you going to? Just answer my question. But Mom, Shadi, I'll explain this to you. I'm going to meet a senior pastor. Senior pastor, my foot. Or to run there, or to remove. Eh? Senior pastor, call me. Imagine. And you are rushing out. You are going to senior pastor. You better tell me where you are going to now. Are you trying to tell me? You are not moving out of this house. You are not moving an inch. Because I will really show you today. I am not moving out of the way. Are you trying to tell me that I cannot go and you can't go anywhere today? We are in this house together. Useless man. Uh, you call yourself a pastor. Oh, your church member should even be ashamed of you. What kind of man are you? You useless man. You are an idiot. You are telling me you are going to see a senior oh, pastor. Oh, Keep oh. quiet. Are you call yourself a pastor? Are you truly a pastor? Are you just tell me? Look into my face and tell me you are going to senior pastor. Useless man. Idiot. In a situation like this, praying for one another to die is not the solution. Sir, what then is the solution? What then is the solution? What is that in your hand? It's Bible, sir. Open the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 25 to 27. Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 25 to 27. It says, husband, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spots or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Hmm. Now, do you understand the passage? That I should love my wife. But sir, I love my wife. But she's not ready to change. Husband, love your wife. Even as Christ has loved the church. Love your wife. Even as Christ loves you. Can you count how many times you have failed before Christ? Many of your messes that Christ has washed away. Jesus is not pleading that the Father should wipe you off. Rather, he sat at the right hand of God, interceding for you. That is, you need to love your wife as Christ has shown same love to you. You need to extend that love unto her. <sighs> you and your wife are one. Your strength is a weakness and a weakness is your strength coming together of you we form a bond you will become strong together you fulfill purpose and vision now how can you fulfill alone without her no my friend you need to go back to your wife 
reconcile with her and go back to Christ, which is the solid rock. On him you stand. Without him, you are a failure. Hmm. But I thought I was doing the right thing. Not at all. You should have known better. This is one of the devices of Satan. The Bible tells us that Satan did not only come to kill, but to steal and to destroy. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 14, it says, A wise woman builds a house while the foolish one use a hand to destroy it. I'm very sure of this very thing, that God is going to intervene concerning this home. Amen. This home is of Jesus, and God is going to fix it back. This is just a storm. We're going to pray and fervently pray together, and I'm very sure God will intervene. Because as a woman, we are to be a gatekeeper of our home. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I My wife must not die. Ah, Lord. Don't allow her die. My wife will not die. What? What happened? When did you die? Who died? Your mom? My mom? Yes. Mom is inside now. Huh? Yes. She has been thinking about you. Thinking about me? Yes, she has refused to eat her food. Refused to eat her food? And she has been praying since for you to come back home. Huh? You mean she has been thinking about me? Yes, daddy. And she has refused to eat her food? Yes. Huh. 